What's up YouTube, it's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today we're going to be talking about scouting and more importantly we're going to be talking about cyber scouting. We're going to be using the Hunt Stand app and I'm going to show you some of the tricks that we like to use when we're looking at a new piece of property and then we're going to take that information that we gathered from looking at the map into the woods and we're going to scout in the woods with a purpose so we know exactly where we want to go we're going to be looking for certain types of things. So let's get into the app. We're going to look at a new piece. I'm going to show you some of the things that I like to look for. And before we get into it, we just want to make a quick announcement in case you guys haven't heard. YouTube has been demonetizing some outdoor hunting channels um, and we fear that we might be next. We just want you guys to all know that we're not going to change anything about the content that we create. Uh, if they want to restrict the monetization on ads like they have been doing to some of the other channels, if they want to do that on our channel, that's fine. We're going to keep on making the content that you guys like. But if you do want to find another way to support us instead of watching all those ads, you could uh, join our Patreon page. That's a place where you can make a small monthly donation. Uh, and that really helps out the channel. Uh, but it also gets you a bunch of cool stuff. You get some free merch. Um, you get extra entries into our quarterly giveaways. Um, there's a exclusive... Um, uh, Facebook group. There's uh, exclusive giveaways just for the Patreon members. Uh, and we also set up a few events a year uh, that are going to be just for those Patreon members. So if you would consider that, please go check out the link right here. We'd really appreciate it. And if that's not really your cup of tea, we also just opened a brand new merch store where you can go get a bunch of Swamp and Stomp merch, including this t-shirt that I'm wearing. And on the back, well, <clears throat> you're not going to be able to see it, but it's hilarious. Trust me you want to see it go check out the merch store uh, we also have some really cool items like this water this insulated water bottle uh, that you can get in a bunch of different colors same thing with these tumblers you can drink your whiskey or your wine out of them super cool stuff so go check out our merch store the link is down in the description uh, check it out think about buying something it really supports us and we'd really appreciate it now let's get into the video All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be working on my phone and I will pop it up right here. Last year, we went to this area um, and just walking down one of the access trails, I noticed a bunch of tracks. I put up a camera uh, and lo and behold, I had a couple really nice bucks uh, show up on camera. Uh, so I had really not scouted the area much, uh, but I saw some nice bucks on camera, saw some fresh tracks opening morning. So we got up in a tree and we spotted a buck. Uh, a few hundred yards into this little opening, uh, which I'll show you right here. So uh, in the middle of this opening right here, we spot a buck. So we decide to move a little bit closer. And that afternoon, a giant buck comes through chasing a doe right there. We've never seen this buck before. It didn't show up on the cameras. Um, and then another giant buck comes out looking for a doe. It wasn't chasing one, but it was looking around. Again, another one that we had never seen before. So now we're thinking these bucks probably live in the general area, but not necessarily the area that I spent a lot of time in this season. So I wanted to branch out around this opening. All right, so let's first go through this map and put in the information that we know. So this would be just about the area that I've already walked. So I'm just gonna um, just gonna make that shape other. Um, so then, the goal for tomorrow's scouting mission is to go to the areas that are outside of this. There's some corridors uh, where you can see that there's sort of open areas in between these trees, um, and those are easy pathways to walk. There's also this uh, this trail right here. Those are uh, areas that deer are going to be using early in the season because they're not really being pressured yet and it's easy to walk through those. Uh, so those are some of the places that I would go look for sign to begin with. Um, so I'm just going to throw down uh, just a general line of where I want to walk. So I'm going to come in along this, uh, this main trail. So as you can see I'm sort of making a line that follows some of these more open areas that go through these trees. And I'll be walking through here 
looking along the edges, uh, looking for thick uh, shrubbery, some really good bedding area, and some small saplings that uh, they might be rubbing on. The line right there, it looks like over here it starts getting really thick. This might be some nice bedding area. There might be a bunch of palmettos there. If there's some really tall trees along the edge of this area, it might be a really good place to do an observation sit. So I'm just going to save that line. Um, I'm just going to call that a path, even though it's not one, uh, just so that I have a different color there. So when I get over to this, uh, this palmetto stuff here, um, if I can find some really good trees to climb on, um, then, you know, if there's a lot of food sources and things like that in there, this could potentially be uh, a, a really cool area. So I'm going to drop a pin here, and I'm just going to put a tree stand pin on it. And I'm going to change the color to, uh, let's go with whatever that is. Like, And to me, like these different colors have meanings. So that red tree stand icon means that it's a potential place that I've identified on the map that I want to go check out. Um, that I'm hoping there will be a good place to set up a tree stand, but I don't know yet. Now, if I go over there and I find that, in fact is a good place to set up uh, I'm gonna pick out a tree around that area or maybe this tree that I put this on right now is good enough who knows um, and I'll change that color to green um, because then that tells me that that particular tree stand is or that particular tree is a good place to set up so when I'm coming in blind and I look at the wind and I'm thinking about which way the winds blowing and what's around those areas I can sort of start to think about like whether or not a tree is a, a good place to set up or not. So if I'm coming in blind, I can look at this, see all the green tree stands that I've marked while I'm scouting, and then I'll know which ones I can choose from. But for the time being, let me just switch that right back to red because I don't know yet. So anyway, when I get there, I'm, I'm probably going to look around in this sort of palmetto -y area. But there's also this area to the north side that looks interesting. There's a lot of habitat here. Uh, I don't really know what it is. It looks like there's some sandy areas. Looks like there's some palms, some grassy areas. Uh, so, but there's definitely a well-defined edge right here. Um, and so after I check out this, uh, this palmetto-y looking area, I'm probably gonna cut uh, to the north and I'm just gonna make a line up here. And I'm going to start working this edge, uh, looking again for, you know, bedding areas, uh, some, uh, some sapling trees that they might rub on. It looks like there's some oaks in here, so I'll probably look around, see if any of those oaks are holding acorns. Um, because if they are, that might be an indicator that by the time I'm hunting, those could be dropping. So I'll probably do that. And it looks like it kind of meets up with the trail again here, so... After that, I'll probably cut back that way. I'm trying to see if there's any good funnels here. Okay, it actually does look like there's a good funnel right back here. So as you can see, there's, there's like this large opening here. And if the deer just sort of follow the tree line, when they get to right here, uh, that tree line sort of leads to this little corridor uh, that goes down. And so that, this right here is potentially a great pinch point. So I'm gonna drop pin right there and there's uh, a bunch of different pins you can use but there's actually one right here it says funnel um, there's also a pinch point I'm gonna put funnel um, and so when I pop out to this this opening here I may cut around the side um, do something like this work my way up here because this little pinch point right here I mean if this uh, looks you know, if it has a lot of sign, then that could potentially be a great place to set up. So uh, that's kind of exciting. Uh, if you find something that looks like that, you know, a big open area that sort of funnels down into a little corridor. A lot of times these early seasons, like I said, they're not being pressured yet. So they're going to take the path of least resistance. And uh, these little funnels are a perfect place for you to set up on. So, so this is sort of uh, what I do initially when I'm going to check out an area. Um, and this way I have some points to work off of when I go out there. So um, tomorrow I'm going to head out to the area to scout. Um, and I'm going to drop 
some more pins um, based on what I find out there. So, uh, see you guys out there. Let's go. The area that I hunted was uh, like a large opening with lots of gull berries and lots of really good bedding area and, and food sources. So I suspect that these bucks, if they're still alive, uh, live around here, but I just want to learn a little bit more about the area. All right, so there's a really cool little corridor here. There's, uh, there's food and bedding on this side and, and a pretty good tree line on this side. Um, and it's real grassy. This stuff is really easy for the deer to move through. And during uh, the opening weekends, a lot of times, the deer are just gonna take the path of least resistance because they don't really know they're being hunted yet. So this is the kind of place that I would really think about hunting during the opening weekend. Um, and there's a bunch of trees here. And so one thing I like to do when I'm scouting, I bring my range finder and, and I actually walk to the spots where I think a deer might uh, come through a trail. And then I range it the different trees so I get an idea of like how far of a shot I'd be taking from them. Um, if you forget to do it while you're out though, you can also do this uh, in hunt stand. If you see a tree that you like, uh, drop a pin on it. When you get home, you can actually use the measuring tool and you can measure the distance to different spots around that tree. So you kind of have an idea of what to expect if you come in in the dark. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. These are gold berries. And as you can see, they're still green, but uh, we got about six weeks until the season opens. And uh, when these get ripe, they'll turn like purplish to black. And this whole area is loaded with them. So hopefully we can find some decent trails of animals moving through. And I would bet that there's gonna be does hanging out here. And you know when you're hunting the rut, if you've got does, you've got bucks. So I'm just following my map. I know generally the area I'm trying to get to right now. Um, we're going to follow the edge. There's a tree edge back behind us here. We're just basically going to follow the edge here. There's a thicker island of trees back there. So I'm trying to work this little strip in between them. It seems like a little corridor that the deer might be using. putting like a pin saying there's like an intersection here because clearly like there's trails going like in every every direction so so it's really early for this but they're definitely already rubbing is that as fresh as can be like like the last few days fresh so that's a good sign I mean some of these trails are probably a buck there's some oaks right back here. We're gonna go check those out and see if there's any other food sources because we've got gold berries, we've got palmetto berries. If we've got acorns as well, this place is gonna be loaded with deer. So we just found uh, an oak tree here that's holding acorns. It's not dropping any yet. We haven't found any on the ground. So what I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to mark on the map, I'm going to mark this oak tree because I know that it's holding acorns, so they're going to drop this season. Um, and so one thing you can do is, is when you come through, check and see if they're dropping yet. Um, right now I'm going to mark it as a food source and I'm going to mark it red, which to me, I mean, all these different colors can mean something to you. To me, the red food source means uh, a budding fruit. Uh, either acorns or something else that's not quite ready yet it's not ripe um, and then once you notice it ripen once it starts dropping them or once those gold berries turn uh, ripe I'll change the color of it to green that way I know that that food source is currently dropping so then it's something to focus on later on so I'm gonna put this one in there as red and then uh, keep an eye on it as, as the season goes on. I just put a camera right here on this little intersection of trails. There's a rub back here. 
palmetto berries here. There's gold berries everywhere. There's acorns dropping back there. So it seems like a place to potentially pick up some stuff just moving through. Um, so I'm gonna put a, put a pin on the hunt stand app uh, for the camera so that when I come back, I can easily find it. Uh, and I always put a little note where I put it. I put it up high so I know if I come pick it up, I know I have to bring my climbing stick with me to get it. I'm gonna say that it's facing west so I know which side of the tree to be looking on. So in a place like this, when there's so much food around and just a lot of really good bedding habitat, it's hard to pick out exactly where the best spot is to set up. We found a little bit of deer droppings. We found some tracks around. So what I like to do is on hunt stand, I'll just drop a pin on every bit of clear sign that I find. Um, and hopefully uh, you get a cluster of sign in one particular location. And that would be the spot that I start my hunt because if you look around, there are tall pines everywhere here. So there's no shortage of trees that are you know, good to climb up. Um, so with that in mind, we're not really looking for the exact location to put a tree stand or hang a saddle. Uh, you're looking for whichever area in here has the most signs. So as we're working through, we're just dropping pins. Uh, and then later I'll look back at the map and see if I can figure out which spot's gonna be the best to set up a tree stand. So as we were walking through to an area I wanted to get to, we found a really well beaten trail that we've been walking down. So one of the cool things you can do while you're scouting, if you want to remember where one of these trails is and where it goes, sometimes that can help you figure out like where you want to set up your, your tree stand or something like that. So um, I'm going to use the trace function and um, it's going to follow me around. Um, so it'll make a line everywhere that I walk and we're just going to follow this trail because it's heading in the direction we want to go anyway. Um, and then when, when the trail stops, I'll end the, the uh, trail or the, the trace and then I'll be able to save that so I know exactly where this really well used game trail is. Alright, so we just finished scouting and uh, but the scouting mission isn't over yet because there's still a lot of stuff that I can do once I get home and I start looking at that map and seeing all the pins that I dropped on it. Now I can start to figure out where the clusters are, uh, where the most sign was, start figuring out which trees that I marked that could be potential trees to set up in are going to be the best ones when season comes around. Now we sit and we wait for those, uh, those pictures to come in from the camera. Uh, we're going to come back out here and check those. And then we're going to show you guys a feature of how you can take those um, those trail camera pictures and put them into the hunt stand app and it'll actually help you calculate the best times to be at each spot that you scouted. All right guys, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, make sure that you're subscribed. And if you liked all of this information about hunt stand, think about downloading the app and you can use our coupon code, which is down in the description to get 10% off hunt stand pro, which gives you a whole bunch of extra features that we're going to be showing you in the next few videos. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next week.